Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Sid Meier's Civilization VI in our brand new Isle of God series. We are on episode two here, and I need to pick a technology to start out. Uh, we have the option of going with archery, which I will probably need since I'm going to be taking on Teddy pretty soon, but I can also go for bronze working now and start going for stronger uh, units. We won't get stronger units until we have iron working, but we can start with bronze working and have, say, encampment districts. So I think I'll do that. The pyramids are nowhere near me. Ancient walls are going to be necessary um, sometime soon as well, but I think I'll be able to defend myself pretty decently. So I think what I'm going to do is go for bronze working and then maybe archery. So we'll queue those two up. So that's looks like five turns total or so. Uh, we don't have any other campus districts building right now. However, we are about to build a library, so maybe faster than five turns. We'll see. It's going to take 120 faith. So next turn, I'm going to build a library in, uh, in Majapahit. But let's see what else we can do in Jambi, our second city. Oh, we haven't actually done a monument here yet, so let's do that immediately because we need the culture per turn as soon as possible. Then we have this builder here and... Um, several options with the builder. Now we can go ahead and go for the mercury, which I'm tempted to do. Actually, I think I will do. I'm going to buy this tile and send the builder straight out to the mercury because they're not going to be able to build it this turn, but oh crap. Hello. So that builder actually might get captured unless we do this, which could put the slinger at risk, but we're going to do it anyway. Hmm. Teddy's still got this settler right here too, so we'll have to be careful, but let's take a look around now <laughs> i was watching the end of the last episode when i was uh, encoding the video and i accidentally sent this galley kind of on a back and forth quest so we're going to send him this way instead kind of spart out spart uh, kind of scout out sparta's coast meanwhile we're going to look around up here there is a goodie hut that we need to get our scout up to speaking of that where are you scout you're way down here still i guess i do need to have you heal for a bit so we'll do that but we'll keep an eye on you and make sure no barbarians get near you in the meantime i just want to make sure he's safe while he's making his way back up there all right, so this slinger is going to be under fire. Thankfully, not in a bad way. All right, we've got that improved, and let's get that slinger back into shelter so we don't lose them. And we have room for an envoy. Now, we're making lots of faith per turn, so we can go for more faith per turn, uh, or we can work on Lisbon. I think I'm going to keep working on Lisbon because, again, trader units being immune to being plundered on water tiles is going to be kind of huge for a naval empire. So we've got a second... Delegate there, second envoy there, and of course if we send a trade route, looks like, to Lisbon. Um, oh no, they, they want to train an archer, that's not a trade route quest. Armagh wants inspiration for drama and poetry. Hang on. I'm usually not very good at paying attention to those. Um, Alright, they want me to build a wonder, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get to a wonder before that, but uh, before I finish researching that naturally in nine turns. I'm definitely not, actually, so no worries. But yeah, I'm normally not good about keeping an eye on the boost, so I'll try and do a little bit better this series. Hopefully there's a path up here that I can keep sailing around with that galley. Speaking of galleys, I can purchase sea units with, um, I also need to get a missionary, but for now let's get that library right away. Okay, interesting. So they want mercury. We only have, oh, actually we already improved one mercury, I'd forgotten about that. That's right, I think we have one north of the capital. So now we have a second Mercury, and Sparta's willing to give us a good amount for it. They want us to open our borders as well, which will help us with our relationship with them. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and take this deal. Just in order to kind of build a good relationship with Gorgo and maybe help ensure that she doesn't... Oh, hi. So, Nubia, one of the newer civilizations, I actually played a series called Warrior of the Nile not too long ago. And, uh, okay, do you want to exchange information on our capitals? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And they did take that builder, unsurprisingly. So now we're going to have to um, get that builder back. I was pretty sure that was going to happen. And unfortunately, because we lost that warrior last episode, we, we aren't able to buy one just yet. Uh, we might be able to train one up when this settler's done, but it's going to take a bit before we can get that builder back. But we will get it back. However, because we have unlocked borders with Gorgo, we can explore a little bit more of Sparta. Sparta's pretty well developed. It's as big as Majapahit. Uh, it does look like... Yeah, I can keep going this direction, so that could be helpful. Let's turn yields off. I had yields on for the entire game <laughs> last episode. All right, there goes that Bronze trade route. Bronze is the mirror of the form. Wine of the mind. Okay, so now I have access to the barracks and encampment, which barracks, of course, is an encampment building. Spearmen, we have unlocked iron resources. We'll have to look around to see where they are, because I don't see that we've discovered any. And uh, that's not a good sign, actually. And then we can chop down rainforest. Let's go ahead and... 
attack this archer with our slinger because they were dumb enough to come close. I don't know why they did that, but now we are going to be able to promote that slinger again. All right, I think that's another Spartan city down there. All right, now I think... No, that's an ocean tile, not a coast tile. Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to go back this direction and see what else we find. It looks like there's some more land up here. Maybe... I doubt there's another goodie hut that close to that one, but we'll try for it anyway. Anything else I can do with the gold I've got right now? Because I'm kind of annoyed with my present situation. This scout is almost healed up. I'm going to go ahead and send them up. We can risk their current health levels. Okay. May Unsurprisingly. May the forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. All right, so we have access to archery. Let's first... Hmm, what would be the smartest thing to do? I think I'm going to go ahead and do the, the upgrade first. And we'll have to give them a promotion next turn. But I want to kill that archer, and having more attack range will allow me to do that. So now we've got bronze working and archery. That was pretty fast. Now, I think because we have the wheel boosted, let's go for that next. We have access to the water mill. We'll get that a little bit sooner. Oh, no, it wasn't a Spartan city. It was Poland. Jam Jadwiga, Król Polski. A little, uh, little full of yourself there, Jadwiga. We would love to sample your hospitality. All right, so we've got this city way over here. I could send a delegation to Poland just to make sure we have a decent relationship with her. There's that. Let's send one to Amanator as well. We're already on a good on good standing with them, but I'm going to try to build a decent relationship and kind of see how that goes with the current version of the game. Um, just how diplomacy is is working current version of the AI. Always something I like to test whenever there's a new patch to see how it might play out. I always enjoy um, in civilization games the ability to or in any strategy game really to feel like I'm actually able to negotiate with the AI players and have exchanges with them. Meaningful exchanges. Okay, now I think yeah, I can go ahead and finish off that archer right now. Unfortunately, we're not going to get experience for this, but I wanted to kill that archer while it was in range. And then this settler, I've got a couple different options here. There is Pantanal, the wonder over here, which we can settle. Uh, there's some silk as well. We just need to get that uh, encampment cleared out, which we're probably going to... I think that might be the best place to settle next. Pantanal will give us additional, looks like, culture. So let's bring the settler down here and start making a push in that direction, because we need to close Teddy in as well before he gets a similar idea. Uh, Majapahit, you need a new trader, but can you buy one with gold? No, you can't. So let's go ahead and get another trader going. It's unfortunate that we've lost so many units in the opening of this game. Um, I mean, it's what's it, what's going to happen is going to happen, but it's just had a little bit of bad luck with these uh, barbarians so far. Let's go for... Yeah, we need another builder in Jambi. We're about to recapture this one, but I need a second one because we've got plenty of tiles to, to work on. Right, thankfully, we're not at war with Teddy yet, but that could be dicey with that scout over there. Oh, hi. I cannot roll my R's like that, for the record. Um, so this is interesting. This is, we're playing a naval game, and um, this is this is the naval Civ. So it'll be interesting to have him as an opponent. We would love to sample your hospitality. Oh, he's right down here. So he's actually somewhat nearby. We might have some more competition for our home continent here of... What's it called? I forget the name of it. Valbara. And then we have the continent of Nena here. Is this... Yeah, this is Nena. And then that's Nena as well. Is this... That's all Valbara. So where is, where is the continent of Mu? I noticed there's another continent, but I don't see... Looking, I'm looking. That's all Valbara. That's Valbara. Do I, am I just blind? Where's the continent of Mu? Is this it? No, that's just ice. It doesn't count as a continent. Even though Antarctica is a continent, why is the ice not a continent? Um. Well, crap, I don't know... It's gotta be... Alright, we'll figure it out later. I'm not sure why I can't see what's going on there, but anyway. Keep that settler right there. We need to keep an eye on that barbarian, too. But let's keep looking around. Oh, we actually can't go any farther here on account of the position of that city. So 
So let's just look around with our galley up here. Let's see what happens. Oh good, this scout came in to help protect Don't reinvent the, area. the wheel. Just realign it. Alright. Now I do want to give you a promotion. Range strength versus land unit. That gives you a little bit of extra strength. And now we've got to recapture that builder as soon as possible. Ooh, decisions. Do we have any... Yeah, we actually do have some resources near us that we could use irrigation for. We need to build a plantation. Specifically the spices, or the, the silk there, not spices. So we'll have to be ready for that. I'm going to keep the settler right there until we're a little bit safer. Let's have the scout continue to move upward. And bring the galley around, just exploring the ice up there, since there's not much else he can do. Yeah, there's no way around that, unless I were to get open borders... Are you serious? Okay, Sparta just took my... No. Sparta just took my builder. So now I can't recapture the builder, and the one I'm building is the only one I have. And now here comes America, knocking on my door. When can I purchase a warrior, is the question. 100 gold? We're about uh, three turns away, unfortunately. And we're still not sure we're going to be able to get this scout up before Teddy gets any ideas. He's got warriors knocking on my door. Sparta, that was not... I, I don't approve of what you just did. That was not a very nice thing to do. For the record, I'm not happy with that. That was my builder. I kind of wish the AI would have a way of knowing that, so as not to be a dick, but that's a little bit too much to ask for, I think. I could declare war on Sparta and just be like, hey, give me my frickin' builder back. Um, I could declare a surprise war and get a something of a warmonger penalty, which technically would be justified because they captured our builder unit. You know what? I'm doing it. I, I just... <laughs> I'm doing it. This is It's early game. The surprise wars happen all the time. We were trying to build a good relationship, but they stole my builder. Yeah, I know. Come back on your shield or on it. Just like the line in 300. Now give me my builder. You jerk. Okay. So now we've got that builder back, and we're going to have a couple builders in the area next turn. In a few turns, we'll be able to buy a warrior. Now, Sparta is across the ocean from us, so not as much of a threat. And we have these galleys nearby, so anything she tries to send across, I should be okay. Ah, really? All right, thankfully, I think I can get this scout in the water. But it looks like America has tried to start settling in that direction, which is actually kind of okay. I wanted to have cities in this area. No, Teddy. I wanted to have cities in this area um, before they did, Thousands so they're going to do that, and that's fine love. with me. Not one without water. All right, so now we can clear marsh, we can build plantation districts, and we can build the Hanging Gardens. The poets have been mysteriously oh, nice. Two at once. on the subject of cheese. So theater square districts, amphitheaters, and also literary traditions. Let's check our policies really quickly and make sure there's nothing else we can do that's better. Um, unit combat strength when fighting barbarians. Um, I'm, I'm going to replace this with this one because we, we're going to need to start building up our military and that's going to be the most important thing. I'll well, keep the plus one production in all cities just because it helps with everything as opposed to just settlers or builders. But uh, Majapahit doesn't quite have enough population for a theater square yet so what we're going to do here is build a... actually yeah, a warrior. And we can also purchase... hang on, let's see what we need to do here. Let's get you out there. Get you over here. America, I hope you're not thinking about what I think you're thinking about. Because I want to beat you to that punch. Let's go for masonry so we can have access to walls. Because we could potentially need those within a turn or two. Military tradition, let's do that as well so that we get flanking and support bonuses for our armies. And then this trader, I want to send you back to Jombi so that you're actually helping Jombi grow again. Yeah, let's get a granary going. And we're going to get the scout in the water. America's actually got, I have to say, a decent military. They've really spent a lot of their early production building up a military, of all things. All right, let's pay a visit to Sparta's warrior here while they're in the water. It looks like they're potentially going another direction, not heading for land. So, oh, nope, just kidding. I was wrong. All right, so Sparta has landed a warrior on our coast, but it's just one unit. Let's we'll see how that goes. Okay, let's mine the truffles. I think that's our first... Yeah, that's our second luxury resource and our first truffle. So that should help a little bit with uh, city happiness when the time comes. 
and we're definitely going to get that uh, fishing hut built for the extra production in Joppy. All right, let's now go ahead and train up a missionary. And keep looking around with this galley a little bit. I just want to get this scout away from America before he declares war on me, and I will be a happy camper. I will be happy with however this goes after that point. Um, I think another archer is probably in order first before I do another warrior. Archers are super strong anytime before uh, the turn of the, as Eddie Azard would say, the BC-80 changeover. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we need to build a um, Kempung district. We'll go ahead and build one here for now, but need one up in Majapahit as well. So much to build. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? We have this builder here. Yeah, let's send you up to Majapahit. So we have one in each city. And that archer we need to keep an eye on. We'll move you a little closer, so maybe get you some combat experience. Okay, so let's take a look at the religious lens. It's saying it converts in 378 turns. Interesting. So this is this is actually pretty nice. And it shows how many followers... Um, and how, how many turns it would take to convert. I really like this. Two and one. I don't like that you can't see it at a glance anymore. You have to open up the um, religion lens and and click this to see how many followers there are. But I mean, that's still, I mean, that's that's not too unintuitive. It's just different. So maybe I'll adjust. But uh, all right, let's bring this guy down here. We need to go ahead and get this warrior out into the fray. Really the settler out into the fray more than anything. I'm going to kind of keep this galley here on patrol for any Spartan units nearby. What's happening on what's happening here? Okay, so the holy city-state has declared war on us. So I guess their suzerain is Gorgo. Yep, their suzerain is Gorgo. And we've met Geneva. When did we meet Geneva and where is Geneva? Geneva looks like they're right up here. Oh, because of the Lisbon galley. Now we Oh, we must have... I don't know when we got suzerain status with Lisbon. But that's handy. We must have completed a quest of theirs. Very nice. So now we can see what their units are doing, and as a result, we've met Geneva. Now we don't have... Um, because Poland's already met Geneva, we, don't, we didn't get a bonus envoy with them, but that's still nice. Okay, so I had to do a quick cut in the episode there. had an unexpected interruption. I had to stop recording. So we're at the beginning of turn 63. Hopefully the commentary didn't... <laughs> <laughs> didn't do too many weird things just now uh, in that edit. I haven't had to do an episode edit in, in a good while uh, f because I, I generally don't have noise interruptions anymore, but this was a, a phone call that I had to take. So, um, all right, so let's, uh, let's, let's continue. Where were we here? We've got, uh, yeah, this scout needs to get back to, uh, as long as I can get the scout into my territory, again, I'm going to be a happy camper. All right, the settler can stay put. Actually, you know what? Let's not keep them there. Let's go ahead and start moving these guys forward a little bit just to get a better idea of what's going on in this area. Okay, now... We can hit this archer. Right now. Very nice. Get a little bit of combat experience and weaken that archer in the process. We're going to keep patrolling here with this ship just to make sure we keep an eye on Gorgo since we've randomly declared war on her. And our missionary has arrived. Let's get this missionary down to uh, Boston, I think. Because Boston, let's take a look at the religious lens again. Yeah, this is... So they have two followers, one of our followers. So so we can convert them pretty easily. They're going to they're convert naturally in 177 turns. But uh, we can do better, I think. Let's go ahead and build a Kempung there. So as you can see, we've got a um, good amount of food and production income coming in from Jambi now. Thanks to those improvements. And we've got the builder heading up to Majapahit to build another one in the water there. Okay, big surprise. They're attacking our archer with their weakened archer. And this warrior is When wasteful no? war okay. shall statues overturn and broils root out the work of masonry. All right, so now we have... Now we can harvest stone for production. We can build the pyramids, but we don't have access to desert tiles. I don't tiles. underrate the oh, value of military knowledge. Completed two but things at once. if men make war in slavish obedience to rules, they will fail. All right, so now we have access to flanking and support combat bonuses for all combat units. Um, I'm okay with our current policies. That's fine. I think I should back this archer off, probably, just to be safe. I'm not sure he's ready to confront 
these units together. Although I am kind of tempted. Well, actually, no, I can finish off the archer, and he should be able to hold his own against these warriors. At least for one more turn. There we go. Okay, so I think we'll be okay. There. Famous last words, perhaps, but I want to try and push into that area so that we can get that city settled. Now, for my next policy, I think I should probably go for ironworking. The only issue is I don't have any iron anywhere near me. There's none on this continent. There doesn't appear to be any in Washington's territory. Teddy, do you have any? Uh, no, you don't. You do not. There's iron near Lisbon. So, I mean, technically... Technically, as their suzerain, I wish we would get their... Yes, these are, these are the diplomacy bonuses. We get all the city-states resources, so this is two wheat... Oh, they haven't mined the iron yet, that's what it is. And we don't have the ability, as in Civ Five, to get them to mine their resource, but uh, we might soon. So yeah, we do actually get that iron, but not just yet. Um, let's see... Again, we'll need that eventually. We could build Jabal Barkal and get two iron that way. That's a possibility. But it has to be built on Desert Hills, so we can't... There's no way to build it. So do we get stables? We are going to be at war soon. Or do we get currency? We've got a pretty decent gold income. Let's go for stables first, since we have a good gold income. And uh, policy-wise, I think I want to go for games... Well, no, let's go for mysticism, because we are going on the religious victory path, and I want to be able to improve that. Improve our religion as soon as possible. Apadana is tempting, but not as tempting as continuing to build up our forces here. Let's see, a battering ram could be handy for taking on Teddy. So could a heavy chariot. Let's go ahead and build a heavy chariot. Okay, good. It looks like our scout's gonna get away. Maybe. We're gonna leave you guys there for now, because I'm not sure that settler's gonna be in good shape just yet. I actually don't remember quite how long I was recording before I uh, had to make that cut, so I'm going to kind of Thanks arbitrarily for decide. The peace on the continent. Bully for you. Yeah, you say that now, right before I declare war on you. It's coming, dude. I'm building my army right now, so you you keep you keep saying nice things. All right, so this religious unit is in a bit of danger. Let's move them down here. Oh, there's a religious unit right there. Now, of course, it's a missionary, so there's no combat, but we will spread our religion. Your proselytizers are not welcome. If it is God's will that your people believe in our ways, who am I to stop it, Teddy? <laughs> Let's piss off Teddy Roosevelt. Okay, now we're in a position to push a little bit farther into this territory. We've got an archer and a warrior on the way. And we will probably need to go ahead and build ancient walls here for safety's sake. Yeah, this scout can move straight up to Majapahit. I'll give them a three-turn move to get that done. Let's move this galley down there. And actually, I said I was going to keep patrolling with that unit, so I, I want to keep doing that until I'm sure that Sparta's not going to mess with me. With any luck, we won't have to actually worry too much about fighting Sparta. Because they're across the sea from us. Mysticism is the mistake nice. of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. All right, so now we have access to a couple of um, policies which could help us, um, none of which uh, would give us... I mean, we can get extra great scientist points per turn, extra great general points per turn, extra great writer points, which would help with culture. I actually, to tell you the truth, I don't think in Civ Six I've ever used any of these cards, and it might be time to experiment a little bit. We can get great general points per turn, and that would help us just with um, military leadership. That seems like it could be a good idea. Why don't we try that? Let's put Strategos down there. And uh, maybe we'll mess around with more of those later. I have never messed with those cards, so it's just interesting new options. Let's finish off this warrior. Good night. Nice knowing you. We're going to leave that unit... Well, hang on, where are we going to put this unit, is the question. Let's take a look at the settler map. Yeah, having it as close to Pantanal as possible would be good. We have this fishing hut here. If we... Hmm, that's a little bit too far away. If we were to put it here, though, we can get those two fishing boats. Pantanal would be would be in range. So actually, I want to get the city there. So we are going to move them a little closer. 
because that would be in range of the most fish. Kind of important. And I need to cut this episode, but before I do that, hang on. Uh, let's go for theology so we get the extra envoy. And speaking of envoys, now we can... Uh, you know, let's, I could go for Geneva or I could go for um, the city-state of Armagh. Because it looks like uh, Gorgo lost her suzerain status, so we're no longer at war with them. And I can get the extra faith. Let's do the extra faith. Let's go for that. We could use as much faith as possible so we can have a big navy. And uh, at the end of this turn, I will be done. All right, let's fire our missionary off one more time. We've converted that American city, spread our re religion a little bit, and maybe we'll, maybe we'll go down to Washington next turn. There's only there are actually no followers of Vaishnavism in Washington. All right, there's a uh, Greek warrior in the water. Okay, oh wait, no, not quite done just yet. Oh, good. Kampung. So we got some nice food in Majapahit now. And if we put you on... Right now you're on... Food focus. Production focus. But if I put you on food focus, you still build just as quickly. This is what I'm loving about this... You know, these uh, advantages that we're building with the fishing boats and with the... Um, with the Kampung. Having it on food focus still gives me decent production and the, the city grows really quickly. So it's kind of like a dual focus, which I really like. But anyway, I will stop this episode here. And in the next one, we are going to take over that barbarian encampment, settle the city here, as well as probably build an additional settler and get them up here so we can get those horses and just have a fourth city so that we have an additional production center to take on this massive army of Teddy Roosevelt's because we can't wait too much longer before we do that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out as usual every day at noon Eastern time along. Well, I say as usual, I've taken a bit of a break. I'm sorry, but that's the exception, not the rule. Usually, we have historical and grand strategy content, mostly Civ 6 right now, but some other stuff as well, Total War in the Past, etc., um, at the noon time slot. FYI, in case you didn't know. Again, thanks for watching. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.